the all-time favorite show from our childhood is going to be ruined. The characters in the famous show SpongeBob SquarePants were on drugs all along. Yes, you heard that right. Our favorite characters from our very favorite show were addicts. A lot of theories have come to light regarding this topic. A famous parody, SpongeBob Hemp Pants, did its part and popularized this entire theory. But they just had to ruin it for us, didn't they? What's worse is that it even makes complete sense. It has also been revealed that SpongeBob and the other side characters all had various types of drug addictions. Let's hop on to some of the characters and get to know more about their addictions. SpongeBob. Our beloved main character, Sponge. He was usually happy and excited the entire time frame. Seldom was he sad during serious problems. He was rarely sad even when facing things that were bad. It hurts to now come to the reality that the hero of the entire animated series was on drugs all along. The type of drug he took was called shrooms. Shrooms are a type of drug that leaves a sense of euphoria on the taker. Now it makes perfect sense why Spongebob was seen either so over the top or in complete distress. It's also observed that it was never in between and was always on the extremes. As a child, it never left any sort of doubt regarding this as to what was completely normal to us. Shrooms also give the abuser a wild imagination. This explains Spongebob's mindset of extremity and wildness throughout. We all thought it was quite creative, didn't we? Well, as it seems now, he had some help regarding that. Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff. The lovebirds, Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff are always very intense. When it comes to his riches, Mr. Krabs is always very irritable. He's also very paranoid that his formula might get stolen. Mrs. Puff, on the other hand, has PTSD-like bursts of paranoia about a boat crashing. According to the studies, high levels of irritation and paranoia are symptoms of medical cocaine. Cocaine can make people angry all of a sudden, but then calm down sometime later. Paranoia can make people anxious and hallucinate, which can lead to further problems. A 35 second clip on Twitter tries to reveal what the ingredients are in the Krabby Patty. The secret formula is Poseidon power. One look at the Urban Dictionary will reveal to you that the term is used to refer to cocaine. As for its addictiveness in an episode, Spongebob tries hard to convince Squidward to have just one bite of the Krabby Patty. He eventually caves in and once he takes a bite, he isn't able to control himself from eating as many as he can from the Krusty Krab's freezer. Squidward. We all know who Spongebob Squarepants' best friend was. It was Squidward. It feels weird to mention that Squidward was on medical heroin. After all of the fun we saw Squidward have and after every little adventure, it feels even weirder to realize now that every little action he did was not under his control. It was the drugs doing it all. As heroin is a common drug, we're all quite familiar with what it does to the abuser. And it's shocking to say and admit the fact that all the main traits of Squidward align with the characteristics of the drug medical heroin to its abusers. Constant lying, deceptive behaviors, avoiding eye contact at all costs, poor performance at work, and not being able to ace a job properly. And there lies the explanation for Squidward always being in such a sour mood. He was constantly upset and took every single situation negatively. All the time, poor Squidward was constantly on drugs. Patrick. Not gonna lie, but Patrick was quite likable by all. And he is the favorite one of most people out there. Patrick was always so bubbly. However, Patrick was high on medical marijuana. Though medical marijuana is considered to have many medical benefits, but it is quite evident that he didn't do it for any particular medical reason. Patrick had positivity written all over him. He was always so relaxed, laid back, and understanding, and those were some of the main characteristics that he possessed which made him the most likable character in the animated series. It's a well-known fact that medical marijuana increases appetite, which was characteristic that was visible to Patrick. He ate and ate all day long. As medical marijuana abusers experience a side effect known as the munchies after smoking it. It sure is a shame to see our favorite character, our bubbly, chubby Patrick, was not even himself in the entire animated series. One of the most important things that are now observed is that Sandy Cheeks was always quite uptight and annoyed when Spongebob or Patrick came to visit her. She already knew that both of them were on drugs and that she didn't want to do anything with whoever did drugs. 
She felt that it was quite irritating to be around someone who was always so hyped up on drugs and that it would create a bad impression of her on others if she was seen along with them. She wanted to leave a positive impact on others and give off a good vibe. She wanted her environment to be pure, happy, and positive. She was furious when SpongeBob and Patrick came along and did all the things that they did. All the time we were upset about Sandy Cheeks behaving in such an annoying manner and treating SpongeBob and Patrick poorly, but as it turns out, our favorite characters are to be blamed and not anyone else. The most beloved TV show of all time, SpongeBob SquarePants was something we all grew up with. It felt like the characters grew up with us and we grew along with them. Every scene and every detail of the show was so unusual and attractive. It was a lovely show which left quite an impact on us. But such a revelation is probably taking a toll on us, right? It hurts to see our favorite characters were not actually who they showed us they were, but something completely different than what we thought or felt. Well, don't let it get to you. Enjoy and live on the memories you had from your childhood. It's quite a piece of information, wasn't it? If you like this video and its content, please make sure to click on the subscribe button. It helps me bring along more unusual content to you guys. Hit that like button if you feel like this was an interesting topic or if you could relate to what I did. Comment below about what other topics you'd like me to cover or if you've noticed any particular similarity between any type of drug and a different character of the SpongeBob SquarePants show. Do share this video with other people who you think could relate to this content as much as you did. Thank you, and that's all for today's video. Let us meet in the next video and discover more interesting and relatable content together.